This tutorial video shows you how to import a DXF file. I start with an empty model. First I'm going to view the DXF file as a background map. So I go to the option View Background Maps and I'm selecting the Add File option. We're going to use the gbkn.dxf file. I open the DXF file and I say Close so now I'm looking at the DXF file as a background map. I can zoom in and you see that in this DXF file there are buildings defined and also um, house numbers, street names, that's the information in the DXF file. Of course I can now use this DXF file uh, for manually entering buildings in that case I'm going to use the Snap to Cat option. So iNoise offers two Snap options, one to items that are already in the model and one to a Cat file as a background. The background file, the Cat files are the only type of file that you can use uh, for snapping to the background. You can view uh, shape files in the background but you cannot snap to a shape file. To a Cat file you can snap. So I activate the Snap to Cat option and I click on the building icon and now you see if I move my mouse cursor close to a, a line in the Cat file, in the background file, there's a circle. That means that you are within snapping distance. So then I can click as the first corner, click, second corner, click and then double click and then say OK. So now I've entered a building uh, using a Cat file as a background map and also using the snapping to the background map option. So now I can do that for all the buildings I want to um, um, take over from the CAD background. Of course it, it's more convenient when you import the background and directly convert it to buildings. So now I'm going to delete this building and now I go to the file import option and then import CAD file option. I click on the import cat and I have to select the cat file. So I'm going to select this D D DXF file and then I know scans the DXF file and then he shows you all the layers that are defined in the cat file because a cat file uh, can contain layers and every layer can contain point, line or area information. So a point, a polyline and a polygon item types. So this is different between a shape file and a cat file. A shape file can only contain one uh, item type, so o only points, only lines or areas, but the DXF file can contain a mix of those types of items. That also makes the DXF file a little bit more uh, complicated. So here you can select which layer you want to import you can toggle the selection and say, well, I only want to import uh, the main building, Hoofdgebouw, the main buildings. And you see that the main buildings are have uh, 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 polylines in it, but also polygon areas. So that means not, uh, that not all the buildings are nicely uh, entered as, as polygons. Uh, but let me show you uh, the most common way of importing CAD files. That is simply by selecting all the layers and then for every type of information, point uh, uh, information, line information and area information, you can select which item to create. So for all areas for instance you can, can select I want to create buildings out of the areas and for all lines you can select well I want to create barriers. But because it's maybe not very obvious what type of item it is, we have created the div line options and the div area item types in iNoise. And div means it's a help item and first you import the cat file as help items and then in your model you decide what type of item it really is and then you can convert the item type from a div area to a div sorry, to a building polygon. You can also group all your items based on the layer name it's also convenient. So most of the cases you simply select the DXF file 
and you say import. Well, maybe first you also have to realize what scale it is. Um, and sometimes uh, a CAD file can be in millimeters and not in meters. So then you have to say that it is in millimeters. But in this case, this DXF file is in meters. Okay, I click on the import. And now iNurse is now checking the DXF file and importing um, the DXF file as div points, div lines, and div areas. And I'm going to deselect my background map because now, of course, I've got both the background map and my imported items. So I'm going to deselect my background map. So here are my items that I've just imported. And you see, let me show you a little bit different location. Um, yeah, for instance, this is a line, and this is also a line. So this uh, item in the cat file is imported as a div line, while this item in the cat file is imported as a div area. And of course, the div areas, those are nice shapes to convert to buildings. Well, how do you do that? You double click on such a div area. And you see that the layer name is kept as the description in the div area. So now I select the layer name, I say copy, and then I'm going to select with search and select option all div areas with the same description. So I say search and elect, search and select, div area with a description equal to, and now I'm pasting uh, the description I've just copied. I say OK. So now all those areas are now selected. Now I can say with right mouse click cut, I take them out of my model, and now with the right mouse click paste special, I can convert the div areas into the buildings. I say OK. So now I've quickly converted the div areas into uh, into buildings. And that's a nice way of uh, uh, importing your DXF data and putting it in your iNOS models as real items. And there are also some other buildings. Let me see what type of this. Ah yeah, this, these are smaller buildings because these were the main buildings. And if I select them again, edit, search and select all my buildings, I can now give with the uh, item properties the buildings, for instance, 8 meters height because in the cat file there was no height information. So now I can uh, change the height from all buildings from 0 to 8 meters. Now they're 8 meters. There are another type of uh, diff areas and those were the B3 etc. and those are small sheds. So I can do the same, copy them, go to the search and select, I search on, build, sorry, on div areas with the description equal to the layer name, say OK, so now I've selected these, I say cut, right mouse click paste special as buildings, but these buildings now have a height of 3 meters because they are sheds, they are not main buildings. So you see the benefit of first importing uh, cat items into div items in your iNoise model and then decide in your iNoise model what type of item it actually is. And that makes it, uh, this two-step way, makes it uh, that you have more grip on your data. And now you've got already quite a nice model with with your main buildings and your smaller sheds in the gardens. Okay, thank you for your attention.